All right, YouTubers slash cryptogram lovers. Um, this is Mr. Cryptogram with yet another cryptogram for you guys. Today we're going to be doing um, number 169 from the uh, cryptogram special vacation 2012. The book that I have used quite frequently that I take on the metro with me that I ride around with. Um, anyway, here is the puzzle. Starts out with the letter Kilo, ends with Papa, and it's written by this person here. Alright, so you guys have that. Good to go, good to go, good to go. Alrighty. So, um, we're going to start by looking at some of the patterns in the puzzle. Um, right off, you're not going to see that this puzzle contains the normal, um, the. I mean, if, if you predicted that this three letter word is the that starts out the puzzle, unfortunately, you're incorrect. Um, but there is another marker much later on in the puzzle. And that's the word that. And that word is this one. That. Golf Delta Lima Golf. Right here. So with the Golf Delta pattern, you can take that to Golf Delta Juliet, which is here. And that is the. Right there. Okay. So let's apply those two magic letters and one more because we only know of one two letter word that ends with the letter T and that is the word it and that is alpha golf and that's here alpha golf okay so we have three words identified four letters um, we have the golf which is the letter T Delta, which is the letter H, Juliet, which is the letter E, and India, which is the letter I. Four letters. Okay. So, I've written a new sheet where they have already been inserted into the puzzle. Alrighty. So, there we go. So, um, you guys know that the next phase of this will be the phase that I call the Wheel of Fortune phase. Woohoo! Only you guys aren't spinning the wheel or doing anything fun like that. You're just inserting the letters that you already know back into the puzzle. So you're taking the I, the T, and the... Wait a minute. I'm sorry, make that five letters. We've identified the TH, A, I, and E. Sorry, five letters. Um, we're going to insert the TH, E, I, and A back into the puzzle. And we've got that right here. I know I make the long J's sometimes, so it's kind of obstructed the view here. Um, so that's Kilo Echo Juliet. So that's an E underneath that Juliet. And so on and so forth. Okay. So it's coming together. You guys can start to see some patterns and everything. Um, make some things out here. I don't I normally save the name for last. I don't normally uh, make the name as part of the solving process. I save that as like a final treat. I don't know why I do that, but it's been something I've been doing for a long time. Uh, anyway, so actually, um, <laughs> as you guys know, I kind of get ahead of myself sometimes. But I want you guys to understand some of the patterns here. I want to focus on pattern recognition 
as I'm doing the puzzles because I think that's the most important part of doing cryptograms is being able to carry some of the techniques that you learn from cryptogram to cryptogram. So um, let's focus on the sixth word, the one that begins with the Romeo. Okay, so what do you guys notice here that you guys can notice in the first word, the one that begins with the kilo? Okay, so actually, no, we're not going to liken it to any other word first. We're going to say this. We're going to say that um, what words do you know typically end with uh, a T I or have an A T I in the middle, like A T I N G, like um, I don't know, uh, hmm, commemorating, um, uh, graduating, um, words like that, um, or a shun. Um, graduation, um, punctuation, um, words like that. So, so words like that typically, if you see, um, ATI, that's a marker. Depending on how many letters are after that ATI, that'll tell you what letters to watch out for. And you can take the letters that come after it and associated with other words in the puzzle and possibly get a marker for what for what the letters could possibly be so again like I said you've got the uh, the the kilo echo foxtrot and you can liken that to the kilo echo Juliet and you can liken that to the alpha foxtrot and um, you may be able to get a bite. Now, if you remember, we identified um, one letter of the Alpha Foxtrot um, as I. So, remember we said um, A-T-I-N-G? A -T -I -N -G? Well, we don't know any two letter words that end with letter G, do we? But, um, let's say a word like uh, Telecommunications. Obviously, telecommunications is too long of a word, but um, communications is a word that we can use, or um, uh, you know, th communications. That that looks like a great word. Um, yeah. So it's it's funny how sometimes the word can just pop up in your mind, and it it may work. You know, you may not want to be as um, you know as 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 jumpy as to put down a word so large but if you cross check it and you double check it and you triple check it and it works that might be the word you're looking for so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to apply the principles of that word back into the puzzle so let's take the S that we would use for Foxtrot and put it as the S for um, the S for is. So is it and then another word here. You know we can we can associate that uh, back in there. Okay, so then we look for another pattern here. Uh, the second word here um, that begins with a bravo, and then the other word here that begins with a charlie. Um, these two words here are heavy with the the charlie and the and the Juliet. Now we've already um, identified the Juliet as being E, right? So perhaps with a little bit of, you know, working around, playing around with the other letters, we can come up with a solution as to what those letters are. Anyway, um, 
So, little by little, um, words dropped in, and you know me, I get a little impatient when I'm working on these, and the result. Oh, sorry. Can you see? One great advantage of modern communications is that it lets you know that somewhere the snow is deeper. Bill Vaughn. Alrighty. So, in the next few videos, I'm going to go into more so of the pattern recognition and recognizing different words and associating those words with other words um, and being able to really recognize those patterns. And I'm going to use symbols and hoping that the symbols will bring some illumination to your understanding.